Leukina leucocephala is native to southern Mexico and northern Central America and can now be found throughout the tropics. Indeed, I see it everywhere here in Thailand. It has many different common names in many countries, such as river tamarind, white lead tree, and ipil ipil. The tree can be planted to prevent soil erosion as a shade plant for plantation crops and for its nitrogen fixing properties. The legume provides an excellent source of cattle fodder. The wood can be utilized for charcoal and has also been considered for biomass production. On the downside, it is susceptible to the sap-sucking psyllid insect, Heterocilla cubana. During the 70s and 80s, it was promoted as a miracle tree for its multiple uses, but it has also been described as a conflict tree because it spreads like a weed. In fact, it has the honorable distinction of being included in the 100 worst invasive species list by the Invasive Species Specialist Group. Wow. The young leaves, pods, and flower buds are edible and eaten raw, steamed, mixed in soups, or with rice. The seeds can also be dried and used as a coffee substitute. Note, the plant contains the amino acid mimosine, which in large quantities can be toxic. So eat with care. Now it's time to grow the seeds. Now we're going to see what the green ones look like when you open them up. Trying to open it up like you'd open up an envelope without damaging the seeds. There you go, okay. And now we've got the green seeds. From one pod, you get quite a few seeds. Uh, when we get them all out, we're going to count them up. So you get an idea of what you get here. They're a bit sticky too. And looks like you get somewhere between, you know, 15. I got 18 seeds out of this one. So I'm thinking you get between 15 and 20 seeds out of each one of these pods. I'm going to plant five beans directly in soil. And I'm just going to press them right into the soil. Pointy end down. These are fresh beans. The ones that I just took out from the pod. I am placing them in a container with a tissue paper on the bottom and a clear top. and I will moisten the paper towel. And I am going to close the lid and leave the beans on top. If your container doesn't close, you might want to use a little piece of tape. And I will leave them where they get plenty of light, but not direct sunshine. Here's the seeds from the container with the clear top. Four of the nine have done quite well and I've got four nice sprouts. As you can see, I really had a problem with mold. And so if you're going to use a method like this, I would suggest that you use a weak bleach solution to make sure that your seeds are nice and clean and that you use um, really, really pure water. I am gonna take these four seeds that have germinated well and I am going to put them in starter containers. For purposes of this video I've placed all four seeds in one container. Of course if you're going to be growing these as trees you would place each one in an individual pot. These are the green legumes and planted directly in soil. It's been two weeks and I believe I planted five seeds in here and we've got two nice sprouts. It's been two more weeks, four weeks since we germinated the seeds and I'm going to show you the results. These were the seeds that I germinated 
in the moist paper towel with a clear lid and I've got three nice seedlings here. So this method works pretty well. And over here, these are the seedlings that I planted directly in soil. It was my experience that you need to put in about three seeds for each starter container to make sure you get at least one plant growing because I'd say there is about a 40% uh, success rate in these seeds which is a little less than I suspected and I'm sure it varies upon the variety and what kind of seeds you get and one plant one tree produces thousands of seeds so you know they should not be real expensive these seeds were not as easy to germinate as I thought they'd be but because you get so many seeds from one plant I would just use a lot of seeds and you should have no problem germinating these seeds. For more information and further reading, please see links in the description below. Happy gardening! Be sure and check out all my gardening videos from my gardening playlist, as well as my computer tutorial videos and general interest videos. See you next time!